When you're choosing a new laptop, when it comes to the screen, there's a lot of different things to consider. The resolution, the refresh rate, the color accuracy, and what kind of panel it is. And you can have a device with top of the line specs and great performance, but if you're like me, a screen can really make or break that decision. So let's start off with the choice of panel. And in short, you have three options. The first one we'll talk about is TN. This is usually the cheapest choice of panel, but it also has the shortest response time and highest refresh rate, both of which are features perfect for gaming. The only downside to this panel is, is that the colours may look more dull, with poorer viewing angles and poorer contrast levels. This is where the VA panel comes in, and it combats this problem with wide viewing angles, vivid colours and the highest contrast levels of all three options. But in this panel you'll generally find that the response times are longer and problems like ghosting may be an issue. Our third option is IPS, which stands for in-plane switching, and acts as kind of a midpoint between the two previously mentioned panels, because it has good colour reproduction, frame rates and response times. IPS boasts the widest viewing angles of all three and is capable of covering the widest colour gamut. So if you're working with visuals, this is definitely something to consider. In LCD displays, you can also get matte or glossy finishes. So let's find out which one's for us. So I've got two laptops in front of me, the Aspire 5 and the Swift 5. Hopefully you can see that their screens are a little bit different. In the Aspire 5, we have a matte finish and in the Swift 5, we have a glossy finish. So let's talk about the matte finish first. The matte screen has quite a soft finish, which means you'll get less glare from the screen than you would with a glossy screen. And this is essential for anyone who's working on the laptop all day, taking it back with them in the evenings, and especially for someone who's gaming too, because it means you won't get as much strain on your eyes. Another benefit of the matte finish is that it doesn't show up any reflections of any external lights or your surroundings. So if you're taking your laptop out and about with you, you're sitting in the sunlight or under the bright lights of an office, this is perfect. Another important thing to note is that it doesn't attract dirt or fingerprints as easily as a glossy finish would. The colours we produce in them is not as vivid and the contrast levels are lower and this is because of how a matte finish works. Matte finishes are coated with a polarizer whose job is to scatter the light rather than reflect it back to you, which means you won't get glare or reflections, but also the light coming from the display will be dulled itself. Now let's talk about the glossy screen. So these generally produce vivid, highly saturated colours with high contrast levels and truer blacks. Uh, these are all the attributes that make them perfect for things like your graphic design, editing, or if you're just sitting at home watching films and TV. However, here's also where you'll find more screen glare, screen reflections, and a finish that's more susceptible to dust and fingerprints. Overall, the choice is really up to you. Although the matte finish probably has the most benefits, if you're the one looking at a screen all day, then it's gotta be right for you. In my personal opinion, I'd use the gloss finish for at home viewing because it has the best visuals, but I'd use the matte finish as if I was working all day and taking it out and about with me. So let me know what you think in the comments below, which one do you prefer and why? I'll see you in the next video.